Tonight, growing concerns over the Delta variant. A new report from the CDC says the strain spreads as easily as the common cold and chicken pox. So what does that mean for people who are vaccinated? Sarah Hammond tells you what you should do if you're around someone who is infected. The CDC says the war has changed, according to an internal report obtained by ABC News. The agency says the Delta variant almost acts like a different virus that is as contagious as chickenpox and more transmissible than the common cold. This is an incredibly, incredibly contagious version of the virus. It's almost like a whole different virus. Not only that, but vaccinated people may spread it as easily as the unvaccinated. Earlier this week, the CDC released new guidelines for people who have gotten the shot who may have been exposed to the virus. So if you are fully vaccinated and you think you've been around someone with COVID-19, they're asking that you get tested three to five days after that exposure. They're also recommending you wear a mask indoors for 14 days or until that test comes back negative. But if the test comes back positive, they're asking that you do isolate yourself. And it's important to remember the COVID-19 vaccines are highly effective in preventing death and hospitalization, but you could still pass the infection on to someone else. You know, the thing with the Delta variant is it's um, more than twice as contagious as the previous variants that we've encountered. It also uh, causes increases in severity of, of illness uh, especially those who are unvaccinated. So far, 54% of Virginians are fully vaccinated. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky warns the vaccines are needed now to stop the variant from spreading even more. Big concern is that the next variant that might emerge, um, just a few mutations potentially away, could potentially invade our vaccine. In Norfolk, Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. Remember, breakthrough infections are still rare, even with the Delta variant. In Virginia, about 1,500 people who have been vaccinated have gotten sick. That's less than 1%, but that's not the only thing health officials are worried about. Cases are on the rise in our area. For the second day in a row, North Carolina reported more than 3,000 new infections. That's slightly down from yesterday, but still higher than normal. Virginia reported more than 1,000 new cases. In Hampton Roads, every city except for Hampton is considered to have a high transmission rate. The CDC recommends even fully vaccinated people in those places wear mask indoors.